the best chest and shoulder exercises with dumbbells at home and also in the gym. The first exercise, the chest supported lateral raise, targets the lateral lobe of the shoulder while minimizing the involvement of other muscle groups. Chest support helps isolate shoulder movement and reduces stress on the lower back, improves shoulder stability and upper mobility. Keep your gaze forward and avoid looking up or down during the exercise. Do three sets, eight, 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. The second exercise is the seated crush grip dumbbell shoulder press, which targets the front shoulder muscles. Start by pushing the weights in a straight upward motion with the arms fully extended over the head. Keep the palms facing inward throughout the movement. In the top position, relax for a moment and then begin to lower the weights with control. Slowly lower the weights until you return to the starting position at shoulder level. Do three sets, eight, 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. The third exercise is the dumbbell bent over raise exercise, which mainly targets the posterior deltoids. Help strengthen and define the shoulder and back area. Improves balance and overall stability. Focus on slow and controlled movement. Avoid bouncing. Maintain proper torso position throughout the movement. Use appropriate weight to avoid overdoing the movement. Do three sets, eight, 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. The fourth exercise is the dumbbell side lateral raise. He sat on the floor exercise that targets the lateral shoulder muscles. This exercise is effective for developing strength and definition of the lateral shoulder muscles while improving balance in the sitting position. Focus on slow and controlled movement. Avoid bouncing. Use an appropriate weight to avoid overdoing the movement. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Exercise five, single dumbbell front raise, barbell front raise. These two moves are important for developing strength and definition of the front shoulder muscles and improving overall balance. Start by slowly lifting the weight to shoulder level or slightly higher. Relax for a moment in the top position, then slowly lower the weight to the starting position. Repeat the movement with the same arm, then change arms and repeat. Do three sets, eight, 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Exercise six, dumbbell side, lateral raise, leaning short. Lateral raises target the lateral shoulder muscles. The leaning motion adds an extra challenge by forcing you to stabilize through the lateral core muscles. This exercise combination is great for developing overall shoulder strength and definition. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Exercise seven, dumbbell front raise, dumbbell standing, alternate raise. Targets, the front shoulder muscles. The alternate exercise adds an extra challenge by working on balance and coordination between the sides. These exercises are useful for developing strength and drawing the front shoulder muscles. Repeat the movement alternating with the other hand. Keep your torso stable throughout. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. The eighth exercise is the dumbbell bent over pushed rear delt row. It focuses mainly on the posterior deltoids. Keep your torso leaning forward the entire time. You can also do it while sitting on a bench to make it easier. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. The first exercise is dumbbell incline palm in press. Super set with dumbbell incline low high fly. The first form is eight reps and the second is with a light weight, eight reps. The important thing is that the weight is difficult for you with the correct performance. Benefits of dumbbell 
exercises. Dumbbells are individual weights that are used independently for each arm. They help address any muscle disparities between the sides. When you use dumbbells, each arm has to work alone, which strengthens the non-dominant muscles and helps achieve a better balance in strength and muscle mass between the sides. The second exercise is the dumbbell chest press super sat with dumbbell flies on a flat bench. The first form is eight reps and the second is with a light weight. Eight reps, flexibility of range of motion. Compared to the barbell, using dumbbells allows for a wider range of motion. For example, in the chest press exercise, you can lower the dumbbell to a deeper level, which allows a greater stretch of the muscles. This can lead to improved muscle flexibility and more effective muscle stimulation. The third exercise is the incline close grip dumbbell bench press. Superset with dumbbell incline hammer press. The first form is eight reps and the second is with a light weight, eight reps. We continue our topic on the benefits of training with dumbbells. It helps enhance muscle interaction stimulate the auxiliary muscles. Because you individually control each dumbbell, you use the auxiliary muscles more to help achieve stability and movement. This leads to deeper stimulation of the auxiliary muscles and legs, which enhances overall functional performance. The fourth exercise is the decline dumbbell fly exercise that targets the lower chest muscles. Do three sets, eight, 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Diversify the exercises. You can perform a wide range of exercises using dumbbells. Innovate in exercises. Using dumbbells can provide the opportunity to create innovative and customized exercises. Dumbbells are less impactful on the joints because dumbbells allow you to use a natural range of motion that suits your body. Here, we have reached the end of the topic of dumbbells and I want to give advice to those who can go to the gym, which is three exercises that cannot be dispensed with on chest day. And these exercises should be essential in chest training. The first exercise is the barbell bench press exercise, which targets the mid chest muscles greatly. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Exercise two, lever seated, fly pec deck machine that targets the entire chest muscles. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. Targets and isolates the chest muscles, especially the inner and middle areas of the chest. Helps build strength and muscle mass in the chest. Improves overall development and definition of the chest muscles. Allows for targeted and focused training of the chest muscles can be a useful alternative or supplement to traditional chest presses. The third exercise is the cable crossovers exercise that targets the lower chest muscles. Do three sets, eight to 12 reps. The rest period is 60 seconds. If you want to train with me, send me a message via WhatsApp or Instagram, and I will help you get an ideal body in the shortest time. Our main goal is for you to be healthy. Do not hesitate. I can help you change your life for the better. A complete training plan, whether you go to the gym or train at home. I also make a diet plan according to your favorite meals.